some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in the state of New South Wales, Australia, with a sovereign citizen that goes by the YouTube name of Sovereign Cleo. And of course, judging by her thumbnail, at least she has some self-awareness that her first traffic stop was a complete disaster for her. Well, it could have been worse for her. She could have been actually arrested, which doesn't happen in this video, but it's still a rather entertaining exercise in mental gymnastics. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Um, it's private, so it's privately owned. Okay, so uh, you're not does interested it... in any state or territory of New South Wales? Um, no, I'm not part of the state. Nope, okay. Saying you are not part of the state is essentially meaningless. It does not free you from the statutory obligations of that state. Now watch this, she is going to pull out a rather hilarious Sovereign Citizen card. Nope, okay. Do you have any identification on you? I do. Just been asked for identification. Just pulling out my... There you Thank are. you. She calls it her individual recognition card, which has a very recent date of creation. And for some reason, it has a expiration date of 2033. Her status is a sovereign living woman. I really have no clue what that means. She took her first breath in 1996, and she lives on Earth. Okay, whatever, so do we all. But most of us live in reality, soft-tarred woman. In addition, that card looks pretty homemade, so therefore it doesn't look like it's very sturdy, and it might just fall apart in the next couple of years, much like her sovereign citizen existence. Has the vehicle ever been registered as far as you're aware? Um, yes, it has. Yep, do you remember where or nowhere? Well, I guess um, when I first bought it. Yep, you don't remember which state it was registered? Oh, Victoria, in? yes, yep. Yeah. I'm just going to do some checks, okay? Do you hold a current license in New South Wales or in Victoria? Any um, other state territory? I'm not, a, I'm, I'm private, so I'm not under any um, so public law. So you don't hold law. an actual license? You're just operating under your own? Um, yep, yeah, law, law of morality, L-O-R-E. Yep. Yep. Law of Morality. Okay, uh, what soft tart gave you that BS? I'll just do these checks. Thank you. She's doing some checks, whatever that means. Sovereign plates. She's taking photos. So, taking their time. Coco over there. She's doing some checks. So do you go by Chloe, is that correct? Yeah. Yep, okay. Um, so whereabouts are the plates that belong to the vehicle? The registration plates? Um, where are That they? are actually attached to it. That It's obviously registered. Yeah. Yep, so whereabouts are the number plates that belong to the vehicle? Um, in the car. In the car at the moment? Yep. Yep, okay. Um, why aren't they being displayed? Uh, well, I'm, I'm going sovereign. No, 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 no. The proper pronunciation is going sovtard. But you know what? You never want to go full sovtard, you know. Because if you go full sovtard, you end up getting put in jail and your car will be towed. Okay. Pretty much. I'm just, well, I'm slowly removing myself from yep. being um, under your corporation because you're, you're actually a corporation, so you're... <laughs> You're, you're like a, you just collect money. You're like a well, business. I'm not, but sure. Yeah, yeah, you work. You, you work for you, the yeah, company. Think, yeah. Sure. Wow. That's an interesting soft-hard concept that all government agencies are somehow corporations. Um, so anyway, I've, I'm just transitioning into um, interactions yep. with police and getting all my uh, certificates and everything I need to... Um, to pretty much state that you have uh, no authority over me because um, without the number plates and without the license, uh, I'm not actually under your membership. Transitioning into interactions 
with the police. Well, you know, that happens when you start doing things illegal, like no plates or registration or anything like that, because it's all law not memberships, which are voluntary, whereas the law is not voluntary. you got to have those plates on there to be legal. So you can, you can rightfully pull over anyone who has a registration plate in whatever state because um, you're registered into a membership. I know you're probably not interested, but, um, but without that, um, you, technically there's... You end up in court and it gets thrown out because they say, oh, you've got loss of licence. But if I don't run under a licence, then there's nothing to lose. Well, so. under the legislation, obviously, in New South Wales, you are driving a vehicle. Well, you're not currently driving right now, which is fine. But uh, whilst you're driving a vehicle in New South Wales, it must be registered. Yeah, they and say that in every state. To drive it. Okay? Only if I'm that's under your... why I'm making these inquiries. Yes, yeah. you understand that? Well, yeah. I okay. guess that's your job. I will let I you know as well, obviously, that I have a body-worn video camera that records everything. Yeah. Okay, so can you grab those plates out for me just to show me which ones they are? Um, can I have my I'm not finished with it yet, so okay. I'll continue dealing with you. That's fine. But can you grab the plates out for me? Please, you've got them there. Do you have them there? Well, we are about to find out that she still has the plates in her vehicle, that she hasn't got rid of them yet, and she still has a valid driver's license because, you know, she's only been a sovereign citizen for a day or two by this time. And you know what? They're going to make her put those plates back on, and she's going to be getting some rather pricey fines out of this, too. But if you're going to be a sovereign citizen, expect expensive lessons. Um, so you have your um, Victorian driver's license there that you previously operated under? Um, yes, I do. Yep, do you have it there with you at the moment? Yes. Yep, may I please see it? You've got it there? I understand um, you give me this one, that's is, fine. Yeah, that's but okay. But I can see that you've got a Victorian driver's license and that's great. Okay. So these are my registered plates yep. with the state. Yep. So but when um, did you take those off? Yesterday. Yes. I'm not part of the state. What does that even mean that you're not part of the state anymore? It's not like that even matters on this traffic stop anyway. I mean, at this point, it is just pointless, soft, tarred garbage. And that's my property, so... Well, it's yeah. not my property, but it is it's at the moment. It becomes property of the state, I suppose, exactly. doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, and I'm not property of the state, so you can't take me. And rightfully, the number plate that's being displayed at the rightfully, moment because they're registered, they should not be. able to be displayed. It's unlawfully displayed because it's displayed as a registration plate, which it's not. If, so on private, prop on if private we put, property. If we put those on now, should we like to go? Well, she's facing some fines you. at the moment, theoretically. But they don't affect you because they're um, But yes, for her to drive the vehicle, these need to be displayed because it is registered in Victoria and that's what is exempting her from requiring New South Wales registration to drive on the roads here in New South Wales. The, the public roads. Your opinions can be whatever they want to be, that's fine. I'm, I'm not arguing with you there, but unfortunately the law in, is the law in this state and that's what we're LAW. here to... LAW? LAW, yes. Really okay, so I'm not going to get into a, into a discussion with you about what your beliefs are. That's fine. You're welcome to have whatever beliefs you like. Oh, I can identify as what I want too. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not arguing with that. You can do whatever you want. That's yeah, fine. Cool. But these need to be displayed on your vehicle for you to be driving it in New South Wales. Okay, well, there. any state, really. Any state, any, yes. You've got to say that. We'll put yep. them on. We can get out of here. Eh? All right, but um, I've got some more inquiries to make. Yeah, I'll go. I'm, all, I'm good. I'll just hang. Mm -hmm. I'm, happy, no, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy to just hang. I okay, so... Up the road. Yeah, I don't think she's learned anything out of this. In fact, I think that as soon as the police are out of line of sight, she's going to put them back on. Because the soft, tarred cancer has pretty much metastasized inside of her brain. And as a result, the, her brain is going to turn into mush here in the next few months, and there won't be anything usable left of it. Did you find your driver's license there, your Victorian one? Uh, can I have my property back here? I'll give or? it back to you okay. when I'm finished talking to you about it all. I don't plan on keeping it. So do you still reside at that address on your license, or have you moved from there? Now you're living under your own. Well, I'm kind of in and out of... Home, car life, so yeah, but yeah, if any mail or whatever, that'll go there. Yep, okay. 
Give me a second, I'll make a couple more inquiries, okay? And I'll be back. Don't worry about the fines. Oh, I'm not. No, I'm talking to them. Oh, you don't, don't have to. Fines. Like, you, who cares? It doesn't bother me anyway. They get sent back. Yeah. Just keep sending them back. They're not, they're not lawful anyway. It, they don't affect me. I just write a letter and they, they can't. Uh... We don't need, the, I don't need that. I don't need sympathy. I need some people to stand up around here. Of all the causes you could have picked to stand up for, you pick one of the worst out of the pile. Congratulations, you're a moron. Thank okay. you. Um, these need to be displayed on your vehicle. As I've right. been told. Those ones can't be. There so are. what happens when I no longer have a registration? So, because they've still, I've still registered to them for six months. Yep. Yeah. So after that happens, then technically, because I'm not part of the state, well, only if I'm part of the state with plates, but well, without... Well, technically, you would lose your car, and since you live out of it anyway, that would make you homeless. And just think of the enormous fines that you would have to pay for being a repeat offender. That's what I'm here to talk about is the legislation yeah. in New South Wales, okay? I'm not here to talk about whatever legislation you're deciding to operate law? under. What about universal law? One that... small area, what about universal law? It's not law? what we're here. Okay, soft heart, it's time to come out of your fancy world, because you know, there's no such thing as universal law. We're here for, okay? Yeah. So, if your license is current, that's fine. It's all active. That's all good. But I need... <laughs> Look at this handy. Okay. okay. Do you well, understand? Thank you. So, they need to be removed and these need to be displayed correctly. Okay. All right. So, you're going to receive two fines in the mail that's to that address on your fine. license good in relation that. to not displaying the correct number plates and to displaying unauthorized number plates. Both not okay. actual criminal offences, but... No, I'm not going to argue with you. I've said <laughs> you that. You don't have right. to. Because um, it won't... They, it does, they sent, don't stand They will be sent to that address on your license within seven to ten business days and have all your disposal options on them. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Of course they would stand up and court you, moron. If they didn't, the officers wouldn't be wasting their time on writing these things. It would be a completely useless endeavor. So first attempt of being half sovereign because I'm still registered and I'm still licensed. It didn't go so well. So I probably made it like four hours up the road. Wait, three hours? Three hours up the road before I got harassed by some pigs who harassed me, stalked me, um, and then tried attempt. Well, they find me, but that's not gonna. That doesn't mean shit to me. Well, it looks like it's already bothering you already. So I had to change my plates back over. That, that didn't work. I mean, it might work more if I'm actually. Well, probably not. You cannot talk to these people. You cannot talk to police. They don't give a fuck. You can't talk to them. You just, you just can't talk to them. Nope, it's just that they didn't want to buy into your fantasy world. And quite frankly, neither does the rest of the world. Well, most of it anyway. They don't care. They say, under this New South Wales legislation crap. I'm traveling, I'm passing through, I am not a New South Walian. But still, they don't give a fuck. But again, I chose this path and I'm not giving up that easy. Well, I guess we'll be seeing a lot more of you in the near future. But you know what? I've got a piece of advice for you. Maybe you should think of something different to do other than becoming a sovereign citizen because this is not a path that's going to work out very well for you because it has never worked out for anybody who's gone down this path. It was made up by a bunch of con artists and you fell into that trap. Well, anyway, I hope you liked the video. I will see you guys later.